Do you want to make your Dead by Daylight as pretty as here on the right? I've already made a tutorial for the NVIDIA users on my channel and it resonated well with the community but I've been asked by AMD users and people who have problems with the NVIDIA overlay if I can make a tutorial how they can also reshade Dead by Daylight. Therefore I make a tutorial how to reshade your Dead by Daylight. We go over to reshade.me, scroll down on the page till we find the download button and we are just going to download this. After that, we are going to open up the exe file. We run it and we are going to search for a Dead by Daylight in the list. Dead by Daylight icon is twice in that list, but we only want to pick that one, which is called Dead by Daylight. So therefore, we're going to pick this here, not the one which is called Easy Anti-Cheat Launcher. So select it. We can press on Next. Dead by Daylight is running on a version of DirectX 10. 11 and 12 so we are going to press here next and it is asking us for a preset for the installation i'm going to add my preset down in the description below you can just download it and after that you can use it in this step that means you downloaded it press on browse select the preset and then you're good to go after that we click on next in the next step you have to pick the packages which you want to install but the most important stuff you only need the sweet effects by cj and the color effects by prod 80 so we make a double click till we have this check mark here so it is selected all the other ones are basically just optional you can add them play around with them but this is what i would run with after that we click on next and there we can see that the different shades and modes have been downloaded we click on finish and we are done for now next in the list we are going to start the pedal so as you can see we have started the pedal in the upper right corner you can see it says reshade is uh, now successfully installed press pause one to start the tutorial it could be that it is saying a different key for you for me it's saying pause one for you it could be the home button whatever it is you can then search it here on your keyboard and then you can press it after pressing the pause one button you see this menu opening up there's a tutorial what you can do with reshade how to go through this but i'm going to skip now the tutorial just to save some time my preset which i have uploaded is already selected and this is also the reason why the game already looks as it looks just to explain real quick what all the different things do the rgb lift gamma lift and the rgb gain so this is for the shadows of a red green and blue this is for the midtones for red green and blue and this is for the highlights of red green and blue if you play around with these settings you're gonna see okay the whole look is getting brighter or darker you only have to do this if you do not like the pre-selected settings by me but i have to say i like my game very colorful and i uh, like it also pretty bright because it is less exhausting on the eyes next on the list we have the sharpening strength so we can decide how sharp things are people who have already worked with some filters know about this feature so if you go like all the way to the right things look very very crisp but in my opinion like too crisp i like it to leave it at 0.95 about the rest here you can basically ignore it go over to technicolor 2 and in technicolor 2 you can adjust also the brightness as you can see you have direct stay, uh, change and also the saturation as i said i like it very very bright because i like to see the scratch marks very very clear you can just adjust it for yourself just how you like it strength is just how strong these filters that you have set i like it to have it low and very strong filters other people like to have the strength pretty high and the filters being lower also in the vibrance you can change the whole colorway of the game so this is a very very vibrant way uh, to display the colors this is a very unvibrant way and uh, i like it to just boost it a little because we have already added a lot to it to the saturation so we just loaded into the map and i have prepared a hotkey so if you press pause one and you also go here over into the settings you can set a key to toggle the whole thing on and off i have it on numpad one and here you can see the clear clear difference so we go from this to this through my settings 
In my opinion, it is easier to track down survivors. When you're done with all your settings, you can also click here on the performance mode, which locks in your settings and gives you a boost in performance, basically. You can do this if you're struggling with FPS or you can just leave it if not. Feel free to share your favorite settings down below in the comments or if you have any questions, don't hesitate, just ask them. I will try to reply to everybody who has a question. That's already it. Check out my video also how you can get over 60 FPS in Dead by Daylight and I hope to see you in one of my streams. Till then, bye bye.